200 hours down, 1,300 more to go. Face. guys and welcome back to my channel I have not uploaded because I have been busy with school as you guys have not recently started cosmetology school at Vista College I showed you guys my first day of school I showed you guys my cosmetology kit so now I'm going to talk to you guys about my first 200 hours in school so when I first started school we went in the classroom and there was literally like people there already. So when we went to orientation, I was looking at all the people that were in the daytime and I was like, okay, this should be cool because, um, you know, it's just a little bit of us in this. I thought they did it maybe in like class segments. No, when I showed up at theory on not at nine o'clock, well actually at 830, that first Monday morning, there were already people there that had been there for weeks and months and I was it was like a big shock for me and some of the other students also so got past that find that out so after we go to theory in the morning we go to um, our fundamentals class it's kind of like a mock salon floor so our first week um, we our first week we did this competition I was able to be a part of this amazing group we did um, a fashion show who wore it best our group had Edward Scissorhands we won second place and I'll put pictures up here so that was an amazing experience like um, they had already had their jobs when I got there so I was able to just fall in it's like hey you wherever you guys need me I can help you know all, all that stuff so I ended up helping put the iron on some letters or wherever they needed like they needed me to grab something or iron the shirt or help put something on or whatever I didn't do any of the hair but we still worked as a team and we communicated. That was an amazing experience. And that was, the, I think, my first or after my second week at the school. That was crazy because I'm like, oh. Mm. So me, when I first came to school, I had no intention on, um, she drove kind of close to my car, like just swooped. Um, when I first started school, I literally had no intention on making friends because I'm like, I'm not really here to make friends. Um, in my mind, it was like, if I make friends, then cool. But I'm not going to force the situation. For, so for the, like, the first couple of weeks, I kind of ate lunch alone. And I ate lunch in the break room with other people. Just kind of like trying to get a feel for everybody. And, you know, because not everybody is positive And not everybody is going the way that you're going anyway I'll talk more about that later let's talk about my first 200 hours so um that you know that first week was the fashion show like I said um this no the second week was the fashion show because we were like man we knew I, I don't think they're gonna put us in the group lies they put us in the group but it forced me to get out like this comfort zone and talk to people and um found out a lot about makeup and hair just from listening to other people now when we're in theory we don't do the same thing in theory that we do in fundamentals so like in in fundamentals one time we were on like nails and light cured gels and stuff like that and then on theory uh, I mean sorry in fundamentals we were on like um, hair color the first week in fundamentals, we really didn't do it much, but when it was time for color, it got real. So that first week of color, we ended up doing a project with the director because our teacher wasn't there. And we did like this color wheel with cookies and icing. And I'll put some clips of that up. That was super fun. Like the, the transformation and mixing the colors. It wasn't exact colors, but we found out what colors cancel out which colors and, you know, lifting and, you know, volumes and all that stuff. It was amazing. Color, I'm telling you, if you're going to cosmetology school, if your school is not teaching you about color, in depth like find another school we went so deep into color it was amazing it was just like 
because our director specializes in color and our instructor, she specializes in color and haircuts. So that was amazing to have people that specialize in it teach you. At first, they was like, you know, like, you know, the director was going kind of fast because she get excited about it. It was like, whoo. So we took in as much as we could from her. But when our instructor did it, she broke it down. She, you could tell she was excited, but she broke it down so simple. And now we're able to formulate color and and it's just amazing like something that I've always wanted to do like now I'm able to do it because of one person that's it's two people I think that's amazing like color was two weeks and it was crazy you guys so at the end of color we had a chance to get our hair colored and um the students can do it some people are like mm, I want my touching my hair some people like that or some people just like no they just didn't want color um how I feel is that we're students and it's all an experience and I don't mind experiment experiment on my hair anyway although I said I was never going to color my hair again but now I know how to do it the right way I'm confident about coloring my hair now like there ain't nothing you can tell me because I'm gonna do it anyway with color so I uh, selected two students to do mine uh, one of them she did an amazing job so we had to bring our own color we had to provide our own color so I went to Armstrong McCall which is a professional beauty supply store here in our city I got the Chi color because our school is a Chi school and we use Chi products unless we, Chi doesn't carry that product then we're able to get another type of mousse or we didn't have to get Chi color I just wanted to get Chi color because if we're going to be working with that for the rest of the year here at school then I want to know what I'm working with. I want to get to know their line while I'm here. So then we went moved on to hair applications, learning how to do finger waves, pin curls, wet sets, oh, dry wraps, wet wraps. Let me tell you something, finger waves really frustrated me on the level of frustration. <laughs> Y'all, listen. I mean, once you get the skill, you know, but learning it, like when you thought you knew it, I was like, <sighs> anyway, um, I thought I knew how to do finger waves until we started. Paint curls, I was just knocking them out. That was easy because, you know, we used to do pink girls back in the day. But I thought I knew how to do finger waves because I watched my sister do them for so many years. No, no, I was proven wrong. So we did finger waves. So then we did, um, we did an updo competition at the end of our five weeks because every term is in five weeks. So every five weeks we have a new circulation of students come in. Um, and... It's other things that we did that I'll just keep clipping up here as I'm talking. But one thing I want to say about this school, like I don't have anything negative to say. Do I? No. You know, every, and no matter where you go to a workplace, to a job or whatever, to, for your career, school, um, church, grocery store, every place has its ups and downs. The thing about Vista, I love how the, the 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 teachers try to keep us, the instructors try to keep us interactive. They try to keep us busy. They always got information to share with us. They share their experiences. They try to keep us uplifted. They try to stay positive because everybody that's going to school is not positive. It's, it's, for some reason, it seems like a big competition. I don't know. I'm not here for competition. I'm here to learn. You know, um, we do do a lot of competitions. So I don't know if that brings like the competitive edge out of people where they feel like they just got to show off and prove themselves. I don't, I really don't know. I'm not there for that. I'm just there to learn the skill on a professional level. You know, they teach us how to use our tools. I love how in depth they go because in all honesty, in all honesty, in all honesty, they only have to teach us what's in the book. If you think about it, they only have to teach us 
what we need to pass the, the practical and the written exam. That's the only thing that they were really required to teach us. They don't have to go the extra mile that they do. And we're in the new five weeks. This is our second week of our five weeks. So in four weeks, three weeks, yeah, because this is the second week. So in three weeks, three weeks, I will be on the subline floor. I'm so excited, but then I'm kind of like, and I'll tell y'all about that later. So um, this last week we did, um, I forgot what we did last week because I didn't record it. I didn't vlog that last week, y'all. Last week we did, um, it was the new students and... Oh, we did manicures and pedicures. I don't think I took any pictures of anything. We did manicures and pedicures last week. This week we did, we're doing hair cutting. And I'm super excited for this. Uh, we've already started, um, you know, learning different quadrants of the hair, the apex, the crown. Um, we've already started parting. Well, most of us have already been here for color and stuff. So we did parting with color, but we did parting um sectioning subsections we, we knew that from color um we also learned the parting that we're going to need for the psi exam we also learned that kind of parting and yesterday we did like a little razor cut around the, the edge of the hair around the perimeter outside perimeter of the hair so today we're going to be actually using our shears i'm super excited because for some reason when we were doing cutting i got i got like that i thought color was gonna make me feel like that like this i got excited about color but not as excited as i am about cutting so i don't know if this might be my niche area i don't know because i haven't really found like my my specialty or my area i know that product distribution i know i want to specialize in that but it's just amazing like the things that we've been learning about professionalism what we've been learning about taking care of your your yourself your body like we go in depth we really go through that we actually go through the book it's more than just hair i mean if you come go to cosmetology school go in with an open mind and go in knowing that everybody's not going to be your friend and you're not going to like everybody and everybody's not going to like you i mean my experience personally um I'm, they, I'm pretty sure there are people that don't like me and I, i'm pretty sure that i really don't care no i am sure i'm 100 percent sure that i don't care that doesn't make me stuck up or mean or bougie or whatever or i think i'm better no it's just I, I just i don't have time to sit here and focus on who likes me who doesn't like me who ha, 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 ha. I don't have time to focus on that. My mind is, I'm here to get the skills, you know, to sharpen my skills, to get this knowledge so I can go out and apply it and, and be the best that I can be. There's going to be drama, people talking about each other, somebody talking about somebody and then going to talk to her. I done seen a whole bunch of stuff, people acting out and just, I'm not here for that. I'm not here to, for somebody to get to know me and uh, I'm like... I've made a wonderful, amazing group of friends, people that I call them my friends. I love these people so much. Like, I'm talking about, you know how you meet somebody and you, you just connect on another level. You're like, oh my God, there are people in this world that actually like me. Ah! It's amazing. Like, they, they are an amazing group and everybody is different and unique in their own way. We all have something to bring to the table. We all try to keep each other. We hold each other accountable. You know, um... We're not trying to miss a bunch of days unless we have to. I mean, one of my one of my friends, um, and I'm not sure if they're comfortable with me saying their names on because some of them are camera shy and stuff like that. So I don't want to say their names. Um, but one of her, one of them came. She came to school sick two days in a row, and I mean, can you imagine just? You got a headache and you just not feeling good and you just want to go lay down, but you got the drive and push to do it anyway. And then you got people behind you telling you to do it. So if you got people in your corner that's not pushing you, get away. Even the ones that you just met, like if they're not encouraging you to do anything positive, they always want to sit around and talk about people or they always want to pull off of you and see what you got going on, but they never want to give you anything. Get away from that. It, it, it doesn't make... It doesn't make any any sense you know it doesn't make any sense um i'm not i'm not one for like you know condoning childish behaviors and stuff like that i'm, I'm not i'm not here for that i'm not here to to form cliques and somebody called us a group the other day i'm like we're just 
people that are cool that are hanging out. So, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, if you want to start cosmetology school, just be serious about what you want to do. I have had these past now seven weeks. I'm on my seventh week. It has been an amazing seven weeks. I have learned a lot. I haven't even got to told. I haven't had a chance to tell you guys every single thing that I've learned. It's just been an amazing journey. Um, but I'm going to end this video here because I got to go clock in at 830. Um, make sure you guys are on time for your classes. Make sure that you're learning whatever skill or trade or whatever you're going to school for. Do it and do it wholeheartedly. Do it for, with purpose. Do it with intent. Make your decisions intentional. Be intentional about your decisions, you guys. Be stay positive. Sometimes I put um on my on my group chat today for every negative thought, think too positive, and I promise you it'll work for you. Sometimes we find ourselves getting into a, a negative mindset and thinking about everything that we want to do and everything that we got going on some people out here dealing with way worse than you dealing with sis or bro they dealing with way worse you know what i mean so shift your mindset to think positive that way your body can follow that way your mind can follow and you can fall in line so i love you guys sorry that i'm recording in my car but by the time i get home y'all just don't understand Going from being a full-time house mom to being a full-time student was a full work. And I'll talk about that experience later. You stay free. You stay rooted and grounded in love. You keep your joy. You keep your peace. You don't let anybody take that from you. And you stay faithful to your natural. I love you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.